Hey Game Audio folks, uh, this video is for those of you using Pro Tools for game audio, like I am. Um, so I've just discovered this neat little trick for exporting assets uh, really efficiently and easily compared to going through the bounds window and then muting tracks and then exporting one by one. Uh, so this little trick will help you uh, speed that up quite a bit. So here's how it works. So Right now I have a um, little redesign from Diablo 4. I have these four assets that I want to export. Uh, they're just bow and arrow sounds. Okay, so right now what I have set up is these audio tracks all routed to this audio folder track, which acts as, a, as an aux track. And so I just come on here and then select the assets I want to export. And then I right click and commit or use the shortcut option shift C. Uh, make sure you select edit selection. Do not consolidate clips. You can render your automation. You can keep your sends on it if you want. Um, and you can also uh, select what to do with the source, source tracks. So I'll just do nothing with them, but there's a lot of flexibility here. Uh, if you want to keep things tidy and keep backups of things. So you just click OK and boom, you have your assets here. Um, you can then come in here, select them, and then export through the export as files window uh, right here. And then you can batch rename them and then send them where you need them. So. <laughs> I did not know about this. I'm not sure if this is common knowledge to you Pro Tools users, um, but I didn't find anything about this on on uh, on YouTube or whatever. So there's no tutorials on how to do this. Um, I think this is super flexible and a lot more quick <laughs> than the other methods. And uh, and keep in mind, this is not just for folder tracks. Here I have an aux track with uh, processing on it. I can just select it and go through the same process and boom, I get that processing rendered. And then I can do the same process again, export as files and send them where I need them. So I hope this helps. Um, I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of messages of switch to Reaper or Reaper can do this and much more. I know it does. I've worked a little bit and dabbled a little bit with Reaper. Uh, I just love um, Pro Tools as the as an audio editor, I think it's really powerful that way. And I'm just so efficient with it that uh, I want to make it work for game audio. So yeah, I hope this can be useful to some of you.